How's it going, guys? So today we are going to be playing Star Fox 2, recently announced as one of the extra games that's going to be on the SNES Classic coming out on September 29th, which looks like it's going to be a pretty good collection. Um, I've always been interested to check this game out. I actually, I know that they've been, you know, there's homebrew carts that have been going around, and people have been talking about this game since like 2008, 2009. Yeah. I've been, I started first hearing about this game, and. Um, Ryan and I already played uh, the first Star Fox, so here we are. We're gonna we're, we're playing again, and this is the first time on this show where we're playing a classic game not on the the system. Yeah, not yeah. Re this game was not released. Yeah, we're playing it on the with the uh, eight bit do game pads, and these are great. Um, which are cool. The uh, analog NT that I had also had uh, the yeah. eight bit do controllers, and I, I've noticed no. that they're really good. Quality. Not not a sponsorship or anything. But no, I think that these are cool. Yeah. Um, so Star Fox Two, it's crazy that a game that didn't come out for very political reasons now is is coming out. Yeah. Um, well, let's get the game started here. Um, so this is cool. So Fox has a blue R wing. Falco has a red R wing, but then Peppy has like it looks like a bomber or something yeah, like cool. that. That's kind of cool. And so does Slippy. And so does Slippy. What do they got? Miu and Faye, which are new characters for this Miu game. Miu is a lynx, and Faye, I guess, is a poodle. Yeah. Man, this is like fairy heaven. This game. <laughs> like. All right, but that's I'm gonna cool. be Fox because that's cool. Okay, now I guess maybe I can select. No, um. Oh, you have to. Do you have to select? Yeah, I think I think it's only one player. Uh, maybe it is. We're going with Faye. Tina Faye. <laughs> well, we, yeah, we should well, definitely Well, that would be do. with an E, but... I'm glad that you picked one of the new uh, characters. Yeah. It's funny, because you never hear about those characters. Like, fans and... Well, it didn't come out, so you, yeah. ba you barely yeah, like... even hear about this game, let alone... But you know how it is. People know. Right, yeah. All right, so we're flying. Choose where the Arwing will be deployed with B. Liberate the planets. You can change to your partner if you press select. The mothership can warp to planets that don't have enemy bases. Oh, so you can select. Okay, so I, so it's not two-player at all. Yeah. Okay. Oh, is the in the controls are inverted? That's so weird. Oh, we're like free flying. Oh, and they're talking about Star Wolf. Remember, like the fake Star Fox. Yeah. So this is more like a Star Wars type of thing where you get, you can go wherever you want. You can go in, in any direction. When you play uh, the first Star Fox game, this it's, is hard. they keep you kind of on a track. Or you could charge up too, I'm charging up. But they're giving the arrow to show you where, what direction to go. Yeah, everybody's excited right now for the Star Fox 2 to come out, and, and then they're gonna play the game and be like, oh shit, wait a second, <laughs> this, is, this game's like really difficult. There you go. That was still like, pretty hard. Kinda clunky too, like I'm not gonna lie. Like the original has such tight control. Maybe that's just that level though, let's see what's like another level. Okay, wait, destroy the base from the inside. So there's these missiles coming. I guess okay. there's nothing I could do about that. Five enemy fighters are so here. So what are you supposed to do then? In Three the enemy fighters are there. We gotta destroy this battleship because right. these missiles are Go for it. coming. But I can also liberate the planet. Go for the battleship. But if I liberate the planet, then the mothership can warp there. Uh, okay. Good luck. <laughs> All right. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, you can switch to like the walker mode. I think it's L to switch back and forth, right? Oh, what did it say actually? The target's over there. Can I rotate? Yeah, there you go. You can jump. Jump with A. <laughs> so oh, I awkward. see what I'm trying to do. You're putting the switches down? Yeah, that's it. So that's switch one. Yep. How does this little guy control? Like, like he needs a dual shock. <laughs> like, like if you want me to be honest. You want to have a control stick? I want it to be like, at least like, All right, there's the year the 2000. There's the, there's the entrance. Yeah. Mumra's tomb has risen from the ground. This game would have been. There you go. 
All right. I'm glad that's over. Yeah, back to real Star Fox. Up, up. Like, this is like the way Star Fox was. Right. You know? Well, that's what they always do. They always add new elements. Oh, my, you know? my shit's on fire. I see that. That's, that's not good. <laughs> that's not the door. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know about this music. It's very like Gauntlet on Atari. Like there was. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, uh, okay. There was Gauntlet on Atari. Was there? It, there was. It's very rare. That's actually one that I don't own. I killed him apparently. That's a weapon. That's a weapon. That's funny. You shoot the arrow up top, I, I, I would think? Oh, no. Okay. Right, here we go. This is wild looking. You know, that was a very short amount of time that you were the plane. Yeah. Well, when they want to do the... The reason why you have the transforming mechanic yeah. is so that you can walk around and not have No, trouble. I know that, but it was like, finally we got to see you be the plane, and then you were playing for one second, and then you were back yeah. on the ground again. So we just destroyed a missile silo there. So that was good. Go for the battleship. Fighter. Is this under attack? I hope not. Yeah. Okay, so right now there's just here, and I mean you can go here. And that blue one. Yeah. What is yeah. that place? Satellite defense. What's going on here? There's nothing bad happening here. There's nothing bad happening here. So those are your only choices. Well, you can fly all the way over there, I guess. Oh, Venom has a missile silo on it. So we so the missile silos are coming from there. Do you want to try the battleship? Sure. I was not looking forward. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is inverted. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is very weird. I wonder if you could change that from the inverted to non-inverted. Yeah, I just hit select. Uh, and now I'm like outside. Yeah. I mean, it's still it's yeah. still inverted. What happened? The game just reset. I got it, yeah. Did we die? Did Was Carnaria destroyed? I don't think so. I think it was just like a glitch or something. Yeah. I did well, remember, this is a game that's not done. I did hit select when that happened. I don't think so. I don't think that's why. I mean, we could try it. Let's see what we had. <laughs> it's so funny. Should get a, close, get a close up on that. This is a really advanced game for the system. Yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised it can like, even run on the Super Nintendo. Yeah. There, wasn't there a Super FX chip or something? Yeah, there was. there was. There was two Super FX chips. What was the deal with that? Like, they needed... Like, it needed to be more powerful? The, to super, run the super FX chip, all it was was a more powerful version of the actual chip in the system. The chip inside of Star Fox yeah. is actually more powerful than the CPU of the NES. It's funny, you actually have to like fly there. Yeah. Oh, you bumped into that enemy, so yeah. you're gonna have to kill those guys. There's three fighters. Like, honestly, I can't even tell what I'm looking at. So I'm sh shooting this red looking thing? Yeah. Then you Is have that... a lock on and you have a charge shot. And when you charge up and lock on, it, it homes in on it. That was the only way I beat that guy earlier. I can't even tell what I'm looking at here. Let's see. So is that? Yeah, those three guys are the guys you're trying to kill. Okay. You got one of them. <laughs> I didn't even know I did it. Well, keep shooting. Yeah, okay, so basically So just... that guy. See the guy? Yeah. Okay. And that's one, right? Yeah. There you go. This is not the best, I have to say. I mean, I, I get it now, which is cool. Yeah. I'm getting a little bit more used to the inverted controls. It's not... I don't know. It's weird. 
Okay, I guess I got him. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't... I have to say that, so... You know, a lot of times we talk about hit detection and stuff like yeah. that, and, like, whether, like, in, like, NES Batman, when you punch something, like, it feels yeah. good or something yeah. like that. That didn't feel good. No. Like, when I was shooting stuff, no. it's like, I could, I didn't really know. I don't know. Just, that that part was not very good. Yeah. I like the regular part when you're flying the actual ship. Mm -hmm. Like, basically, like, these parts, I don't really dig that much. I want it to go to the other. You liked it better when I was, like, going to be the tank and... Not even so much that. It's like I'll sh like the part when you become the plane. Yeah. That's like the part I want to. Even the part that's like the original game. Y yeah, kind of. I guess. The other thing is like a lot of these segments. Like I like the scripted segments where you have to like protect your wingman and stuff like that in the original, and it seems like all that's gone. Like this. Yeah. Like this part. Yeah. Okay. Like now. I, now I'm like happy. Now it's like Star Fox. Yeah. Yeah. I could honestly do without the other. When stuff. you hit select, your R wing will transform. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Yeah. What's that? Like an Andros coin? I guess. <laughs> or something. The other thing I liked about the original game was getting the, uh... Get, getting the upgraded weapons. So... Strafe. Oh, use the L and R to turn. Oh, oh, thank you. Yeah. So am I shooting this thing in the middle? Yeah. Okay. I think I got it. You know what's funny? We're so used to this kind of gameplay. Yeah. And they made it kind of easy because people of the time were used to it. Wouldn't like it wouldn't compute. Right. Because it's all new. Like they did a lot of thinking. Oh, you about. mean because it was like a 3D thing yeah. before they? I mean, this is before Mario 64. This yeah. is Before the N64. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I did that part. You want to do the next part? Yeah. Yeah, so this is very different. So they're shooting missiles at your um, at your home base ship, whatever you want to call Fuck it. Fuck you, man. Boom. Got two of them already. And those are some pretty slow-moving missiles that Andros is shooting like at our home world. You don't know how much space is there. I mean, you would think an R-wing is a fast ship. But I'm right? saying, but I'm saying like our ships. Yeah. Can fly. To those missiles much faster than the missiles are getting to the planet. So these right, but isn't like the R wing like a super, like a super ship? I guess so. Um, I guess that the ships can travel much much faster. It's like a, like like you know like X wings in Star Wars have hyperdrives, but yeah. Tie fighters don't. Uh huh. So it's like that. You know. So Andros needs like warp powered missiles. Yeah. And, and badly. So the hardest battle we've been in has been against the. The Star Wolf team. Yeah, see how it's like the fake Star Fox team? Yeah. Star Wolf. Well, they're like against us, right? Yeah. But that's actually something from this game that went into the newer ones. Are you having flashbacks right now to Star Wars on NES? Yes, yeah, right? It's like, it's like the same kind of thing. <laughs> We always end up playing like these yeah. type of fucking yeah, right. games. I like space, though. Yeah, I know. You know what's funny? I think more than anything, space is like something like very much of the video game era. You know, video games in space are tied together. Especially like arcade and Atari era. Yeah, like everything's like stars, space. James and I did a whole video once. It was James and Mike Monday space games. It was just like yeah. we, we did every like 85 games that are space space themed. Watch out for the constructs. Yeah. I love that Mega Blocks are called Mega Constructs now. Are they? Yeah. The Mattel bringing back the brand. I think that's cool. So all the like Call of Duty stuff and uh, yeah, like I Destiny stuff that. is like constructs. Constructs. Do you remember the commercial? I don't. I, I, that's how. Uh, yeah. That, yeah. That's how it goes. I can't yeah. believe you remember that. Yeah. That's cool. Oops. And everyone else over the age of 35 will probably remember that though. I had them, but I didn't remember. Like I was never saw an ad on TV yeah. or anything. I I have to say this part I do like. Yeah, it is cooler than the. The the shoulder buttons need to be analog, for this. Yeah. You know. Well, what are you gonna do? Yeah. 
Cause, cause you like hit it and you're like, whoa! This was 1995. Ryan. <laughs> yeah. What do you want? Yeah. Yeah, but but the shoulder, you you turn like this, you're like, oh, like it's like very like that. With the grass, this is almost like Star Fox soccer now. Yeah. And stuff like pops in. You just need a ball. Like watch this. Oh, did you see that? I got him. There you go. Like, what looks are like people a, of this generation looks like gonna, a mushroom. What are people gonna think of this game? I mean, it's it's so yeah. like this was probably like awesome at the time. But it's I don't good. Know. It's good. This game is still good. I don't care what you say. No, that's. I'm not saying it's not good. I'm just saying I wonder what. Like, what would a kid think of this? They would think it was shit. That's what I mean. You know? Yeah. So this is only like probably good for like. The crowd that grew up with, I, but I guess that's what the SNES Classic is, no, is aimed at anyway. Like I feel like this this game will excite people for the SNES Classic, but when but if they eventually release it on the Switch, I don't know. Like because like kids are playing the Switch. There's now. a reason it took them this long. Is that what you're saying? I guess. Yeah. Um. I mean, I like it. I think it's cool. I, I like the little walker thing you're going around, and I think that that's neat. This target is very contra. It feels like it, <laughs> with the circular bullets and the... Oh, yeah. Like, there's a little bit of auto... There's a slight auto-aim in this game. They had to do that. The controller is like... Like, if they came out with this game, I would think that they would want to sell an analog controller with it. You know? They could... There's, there should have been, like, an R-Wing accessory that went with it. Will there be any way to use an analog controller with the SNES Classic? No. Mm. So it'll still have the same problem. Yeah. Alright, we did it. So now missiles can't come from there. But missiles can come from here. Look at that background. It's pretty cool. Is that, um... Switches to your left. Rotate. Rotate left. Just run towards it. Right. I don't try and it's like wonky. Yeah. The draw distance is like laughable. It's Cloud City, except it's on the ground. Yeah. In the background. They should have made more games like this. This part of it reminds me a little bit of pilot wings going around yeah. with the uh jump the jetpack. A is jump, yeah. Yeah, it's just I don't know, the gameplay is more repetitive. And l much less polished than yeah. the original. I mean, th it does. It definitely feels like not. It, it feels not finished. Go left. Go left. Go left. Yeah, I'm going around the building. Well, you don't. The door was on the other side. Oh, I thought I had another t um, switch to hit. No. Well, the arrows pointed. Out. Uh, I guess I'm just going in. Okay. Yeah. I thought I had to hit another switch. It said one more target. Yeah. Uh, I guess the other targets yeah. the thing inside. Okay. <laughs> go up. Oh. Wait again. Yeah, right. <laughs> Go up. Man. Oh boy. <laughs> pew pew pew. Yeah. <laughs> pew, pew, pew pew pew. Yeah, yeah. All this hype for yeah. like. It's like. Oh yeah, there you go. Watch out, he's shooting. Run, run, run. Yeah, yeah. fucker. Oh, yeah. give me that. Oh, get that. Give me that heart. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my god. Zelda reference, yeah. everybody! <laughs> there it is! Well, when do you ever get a heart in Star Fox? There goes that. Alright, we've destroyed the two moon bases. We've destroyed all the battleships. We're, we're still being chased by the dragon thing. I'm worried about this dragon. Yeah. So we have four lives, though? I guess. So the yeah. dragon's chasing us. So here's what I think you should do. Yeah. Fly up. No. There's, you Where? can avoid him. Fly, like, go to your right, go to your right. Yeah. Up up as high as you can. Okay. And to your, yeah, like there. Okay. But you're gonna have to fight this guy. Who? Is it the dragon? It's another one of the star wolves. Uh, oh, look at this dude, Pigma. Yeah. His name is Pigma, <laughs> yeah. and he's a pig. Like, come on. Sigma's brother. Yeah. Oh, come on. Well, I don't know why these shots aren't it's hitting It's Sigma's chubby brother, Pigma. <laughs> there yeah, we go, fuck fucker. You. B 
beaten by these punks. I've gotten rusty. Boom. <laughs> All yeah. right. So that thing's getting kind of close to our ship. Should I go for that? Yeah, pro I think you probably should go after it. That's the hunter. Here we go. Oh, is this the... This is the dragon thing. Oh, no. Da -da 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 -da. The mirage dragon. What have I done? Is it dead yet? <laughs> it's like, I actually heard it quite a bit. Did I get it? <laughs> I thought that that was gonna be like I the thought it was gonna be ever. like this badass thing. That wasn't even it destroyed like fifty ships in the intro. Okay, that was not difficult yeah. at all. All right, well I killed that thing. So With this, go. most of Andros's forces have been swept away. We got him right where we want him. All right, so let's go kill Andros then. Fuck him. Oh, here comes the ship. Oh wait. I wolf won't let you go any further. Fuck you, wolf. Wolf Blitzer. Oh, look at his ship. Brats. Detestable punks. It's so polygonal. Yeah. No! Star Fox! Oh! Yeah, you'll pay me back for this? With interest. Oh boy. Well, this is over already, huh? I hope that this part can be like regular Star Fox. Okay, cool. Looks like it is. Oh yeah, this is the poodle ship now. Yeah, which isn't doing so well. The poodle ship's on fire. The poodle ship is not doing well at all. Fuck him up. Poodle Walker. Luke Poodle Walker. Luke! Use the force. Use the sword. Get the get the Andros coin. Oh no, that's not Andros, it's the it's, uh, the, the it's McGruff. Launch pad. Take a bite out of crime. Watch out, Ryan, they're shooting donuts at you. Atomic donuts. Yeah. <laughs> what now? I do like this walker mechanic. Yeah, it's cool. It's, it's neat. There's nothing like this on the Super Nintendo. No, there's not actually. Well, there would have been. Yeah. I wonder how, if like, on the SNES Classic, if it's gonna be any different or if it's gonna just be like this. Yeah, that's a good question. You know. Watch, it's like worse. <laughs> yeah. You, you know what? They used all of their, like, budget yeah. to make this cool walker ending. Like, look at the mini-map at the top and stuff. Right. This was the game they wanted to make. <laughs> they just had to call it Star Fox. They wanted to make... This. Doom. It's, it kind of seems like it's it. basically like Doom. Shields up. Yeah. All hands to battle stations. But that was my item. I have an item right now. Should have saved it for the boss. Oh, look at the skull. Yeah. This is it, huh? Yeah, I think so. Maybe. Man, the system's like lagging like shit right now. <laughs> system's like. This is like. I've uh, given it all she got, Captain. This is the most powerful game for the Super Nintendo. You think it is? Like, cause it's like late and. It it's, looks... it's late, and they were like maxing out what they could, the potential of what they could do for the system. I would imagine. What does Doom look like on? Not good. Super Nintendo. Oh, there he is! Oh, uh, the cube! <laughs> it's just the cube. Oh my god, tell me that's it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, he's getting out. He's getting away. Uh, we're st is it still gonna continue here? Because we gotta fight like the gigantic face. I would and, hope. You know. Impressive, but you die here. Faye the Poodle. Oh, here you go. How would you like to get killed by Faye the Poodle? It just looks like a wrestling mask. 
Like a luchador type yeah, situation. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Andross the luchador. Boom. That was Phantos. That's what it is. It's that face from Mario too. Yeah. That's funny. Did we beat it? Is that it? It definitely feels like a tech demo or like yeah. there's stuff they needed to do. You know? Where's the ship come from? <laughs> you were out in space. Yeah, it's like, oh, we're going to fly down the hallway now. Okay. I'm glad that Faye of the Poodle saved the day. Oh, we were in that. Yeah. We were in Space Mountain. In space. Space Mountain in space. It's called Hyperspace Mountain now. Yeah. Star Wars Hyperspace. Come on. Uh, it's like, can we just have, like, space is cool on its own? It doesn't need... No, nah, it all has to be Star Wars It doesn't now. need Star Wars. They spent $4 billion. They have, a, they have a whole park. They have a whole park for Star Wars. If you spent $4 billion, it would be called Hyperspace Mountain as well. <laughs> yeah. It'd be like, everything. You come in, it's like, welcome to Star Park. <laughs> like, I thought this was, uh, I thought this was Disneyland. No. St Star it's Wars St Land. Star Wars Land. Buy a fucking t-shirt. <laughs> Please and thank you. <laughs> All right, so guys, that was Star Fox 2 on Super Nintendo. Um, as funny. Ryan was saying, it look it seems a little tech demo-y. It seems a little bit yeah. unfinished. I don't know. It's a cool game. I like the Walker th thing. Um, like I said, I'm not too huge on the um, on I, the Star Wars battle type parts, but uh, I think the map is really ambitious and too ambitious. Like, I like in Star Fox how everything's scripted. Mm -hmm. How, like, it, it has levels. Right, it's more linear. Level design. Yeah. Rather than thing floating in space that you have to mash A at. Yeah. Yeah. I think that this on harder difficulty, if there were more ships and more stuff going on, yeah. it could be a hard game, though. This, this is a short game, and yeah. I think that that's its biggest shortcoming, no, mm -hmm. no pun intended. But, uh, yeah, it's not bad. I would say... The only longevity you can get, play it on normal, then play it on the harder settings. That ship has a cool name. It's the Cannon Betrayer. Cannon Betrayer. It's funny, they have room for one texture. You get one texture, and it's the the logo on it. And the Mirage Dragon was a punk, and that was not should have been harder. Uh, that's the other thing. Where were the awesome boss fights? That was supposed to be it. It I, wasn't I it awesome. In two seconds. Star Fox had awesome boss fights. This Star Fox Two yeah. does not. The, I think that this game is not as it's good. It's not done. It's not as good as the original Star Fox. Um, it's not to say it's bad. It's just not quite up to par. But I'm sure Nintendo knew that, yeah. uh, you know, because that they didn't release it. So my favorite part was the uh, tank, the tank segments, because yeah. It's an experience unlike what you have on the Super Nintendo. Yeah, it was new. It's really cool. So. The end. It is worth playing for anybody who likes Super Nintendo. It's definitely worth trying out and seeing, seeing yeah. for yourself. Uh, just stay tuned to see what changed on the uh, SNES Classic. Yeah, if anything, we'll, we'll yeah, see. We'll definitely check it out.